Hey everybody, welcome. This is Mr. Hardcore Mode, where nothing's easy. Uh, here with another hard rant in... on Dragon Age Veilguard. Apparently not Dreadwolf, because Tr Dreadwolf was apparently too badass of a name, and now they changed it to Veilguard. These things happen. I've seen it happen before, where they start off with a certain name and then end it with something else. I kind of don't like it, but it is what it is. What matters is the gameplay, but whoo! We saw Dragon Age The Veil Guard uh, at the Xbox uh, Showcase, and yeah, a lot of you, and including me, didn't really like the art design. We all love our Dragon Age. We, I know who you are. I know who you are. The fans of Dragon Age Origins 2, Inquisition, all the DLCs, I know who you are. It has always been a thing to be a dark fantasy. Now, um... Can they delve off into other subsections? Yes, but all in all, Dragon Age has always been a dark fantasy, but what you're about to witness is a complete change in art design that kind of... <laughs> Have you ever seen the Disney sh uh, movie Wish? It starts to look a little bit like that. It, 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 the, the, the characters start to look a little bit like they're in Pixar. Um, I'm about to show you here real quick. It's good, but not for Dragon Age. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it, some of the characters look like they're straight. Like, like it doesn't feel like uh, a dark fantasy. Uh, sort of kind of like um, a good example would be like Berserk. Berserk is definitely dark fantasy. Um, Dragon Age Origins puts you on the edge of your seat because things are going down, man. There were... There were unknown horrors and abomination peering through the veil just it, it, it was mass destruction and it, it was just hard to like just keep up with the with the amount of of devastation that was going on in origins dragon age 2 was a little bit different there was a lot of controversy with dragon age 2 because it kind of changed the formula but all in all we were like ah oh, okay all right fine um dragon age 3 kind of came back to the whole dark fantasy thing with its uh, antagonist and uh, its portrayal of the veil, which is kind of weird because I feel like you're also a veil guard in Inquisition because I think you had a thing on your hand and you could literally just close portals with, aren't you, it wasn't the Inquisition like that too? But, so you're a veil guard again? Anyway, anyway, I, I, I just find it kind of awkward that uh, we're veil guarding again, because you did do that in Inquisition. Um, but uh, all in all, Dragon Age Inquisition also had its dark fantasy as well. There was a lot of, like, bad stuff that happened in Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, there were moments where, there was a moment in the beginning of the game where you literally had to relocate and move to a different area to start up a whole inquisition thing and of course the gameplay kind of there were moments where you had to collect logs and stuff it was it was kind of good kind of bad but all in all it definitely kept kept you at the edge of your seat like bro this whole world could be gone it, it, it could be gone but we need to take care of this where the Inquis inquisition it really did have that sense of uh feelings uh, or dread to it this one, however, well, I'm going to show it to you, and um, well, you're going to see for yourself. Also, you might want to look uh, down below right there. See, You see that right there? See the likes and dislikes ratio? 24K likes, 83K dislikes. That is, wow, that's, uh, if I was working there, I, I, I would be kind of... Kind of listen. You're always gonna have your diehard fans. You're always gonna have your um, your uh, you know, bit of like, you know, light fans, kind of like me. But you know, who the biggest meat and potatoes of any sort of fan base, the normal fans, the casual fans, and they care about gameplay. So hopefully, the gameplay is good because right now, a lot of the fans of Dragon Age Origins to In Inquisition are looking at this like, yeah. Yeah, no. Let's watch the video. Oh, 
in-game footage. This will take more than you and me. Harding, we remember her. And of course our boy. Someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. Someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. We're going into the fade, aren't we? And digging up a lot of buried secrets. What about Darkspawn? Yeah. Someone who will stand between us and a pack of demons. You know there will be dragons. Right. We'll need someone with fire in their blood. One more thing. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. Someone that the world can count on. Where are we gonna find her? I'm going to tell you right now as I started to watch this I was like okay finally some Dragon Age as soon as the trailer ended I just veered off and just was like okay next trailer I didn't even think I knew something was wrong when I was like finally some Dragon Age and then I watched it and I was just like alright what's the next trailer I veered off something about this whole feeling of Dragon Age is it's it's completely lighthearted. The the dark fantasy is gone. The 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 way they're drawn is is changed. I here's a perfect example. Here, here here's a perfect example. Um, let's turn the music off. This lady right here. Lovely lady. The veil jumper. Awesome. I'm gonna let you know right now, jumping through the veil is not a great time. I I, I don't know why they make it so half I, I she's she feels like a Pixar character. In any other movie, she'd be great. But we're in like the the veil is nothing The inner workings of the other worlds is nothing to be fucking around with. I don't know why. I mean, you're literally gr getting grabbed by giant tentacles. This, this, these were no jokes. These were no jokes. People broke and, and, and died in the veil. And she's just like, yo, I'm just jumping around, jumping through the veil. And I'm just like, I remember my character going through the veil. And if I remember correctly, it, it was it was ride or die moments. Of course, I was the main character, and obviously I can run around and do whatever I want. But with most characters, and when it came to anything story-wise, when we went into the Avail or anywhere uh, else, there's a good chance that some NPC was going to not return. But she's just jumping around like a, a Veil jumper. Okay, all right. You're jumping around the Veil. I guess that's normal. That's the giant mirror that uh, Morgan... Morgan was, um, you remember Solus and Morgan in Inquisition, the mirrors into a uh, different realm. That's what they had. And you could tell the cartooniness with most of these, especially this character. I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, an old dude. I mean, I think having old characters is freaking awesome. But the way they're designed, it's almost like it's almost like I'm playing a, 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 a We Happy Few or a Compulsion Studios game. Like a lot of these characters, I do kind of like their outfits, and I yeah, I, I could take it or leave it. Um, but overall, the characters, the way they look, the way their faces move, it's it's nothing. 
it's not it's not for me like i i remember uh i'll, I'll show you an older uh video of what assass uh dragon age origins and dragon age 2 look like a lot of people are like trying to joke people saying like uh you guys don't remember you guys think that these characters look disgusting but you guys don't remember dragon age origins the way morgan looked like no bitch it was it we, we were young okay so seeing these characters and the way they looked was was absolutely fucking amazing to us the the way they move the way they talk and and yeah th at that time it was it was crazy bananas C try to reach us at our level okay we were at that age and we were like oh shit this is crazy we we're fighting dark spawn oh shit the graphics look insane that was our time and I'm looking at these characters and I'm just like, I can't take any of these characters seriously. I, I uh, honestly cannot take any of these characters seriously. Um, hopefully the lore is straight. Oh, hopefully. Um, we got ourselves a necromancer, Emmerich. Um, of course, when it comes to most of the, listen, this is Dragon Age and I know how people are going to act. They don't give two shits about the lore. What they care about who is who they're going to fuck. And, and... I get it. I get it. I, I, I honestly get it. But at the same time, I would like a certain level of, of, you know, sticking to the source material and a level of, um, CGI that mount meshes with Dragon Age Origins. You don't have to look like Dragon Age Origins. You just have to have that feeling of dark fantasy and a little bit of realism to the characters. Cause I'm going to let you know right now, this character right here looks good but his whole like his the we got a nigga with we got a nigga with like like fucking like ears i'm just like part of me is like it's about time i, I would like to see like um a black you know a black elf but at the same time i'm just like i don't, I don't care I, I don't care i i just don't like the way he looks uh, all in all it almost feels like he's really short maybe i'm not seeing it in the best of light because a lot of things are happening it feels like all the characters are short it, it feels like all the characters are at the same height maybe i'm not seeing the characters well enough also i don't know what they did to this guy right here the to to our to our boy right here it was one of the biggest dark spawn. I think he was your first boss in Dragon Age Origins uh, right here. Uh, this guy, this guy. I don't know what the hell they did to him, but he did not look like this. He looked like a terror. He looked like like devil incarnate. He looked like he went straight from Dune. I don't know what the hell they did to him. And also they added a companion that's a griffin. And I'm just like, I feel, I feel like, now, now we gotta. I, I, I feel like the Dragon Age Veil Guard is so lighthearted compared to what we have seen in uh, the past. And I'm just like, fine, okay. And I don't know about you. And this is just me. There ain't nobody that I want to romance in this one. This is the first time in Dragon Age history where I'm just like. I don't want to romance with none of these bitches. I'm sorry. I don't know who this Cornaria lady is, but I'm just like, I don't, she, she looks like my, no, I'm sorry. She, she, she looks like my uncle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Big lady. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She looks like my uncle with horns. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, it is what it is. I mean, he's got a mustache, but that's my uncle. That's literally my uncle. And I'll be honest. There are some moments where uh, where Harding looks great, but she looked even greater in Dragon Age uh, Inquisition. She does, she has, she has some fine features, but I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't fucking no dwarf. That's just me. That that's just my my take. Okay, it, 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 this is me. Okay, but I'm like looking at the whole list of people, the whole list of people, and I'm thinking to myself, who would I romance in this whole thing? Who? Harding? No. No, not interested. This lady? I, uh, maybe, if I could actually f fucking see her face straight, because things keep on popping up. 
I don't know. She looks a little bit evil. She's a detective and she's got a prosthetic leg. I don't know. I'm really into leg ladies with two legs. I, that, that's just me. I, 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 the art style, it, I don't know. I don't know. But also here's another thing with this trailer. We've been waiting for Dragon Age to come up with another game for 10 years. And what you did, what you brought us was a wholesome companion, let me play some music for modern day sort of trailer bullshit. Nobody wants to listen to David Bowie when they want to watch a Dragon Age fucking like trailer. I, 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 it, are you trying to cater to like, do you just like David Bowie? Because that's great. I love David Bowie. But you could play something that's more akin to Lord of the Rings sort of Celtic music sort of style. Something a little bit darker for the dark fantasy. I, I guess we're not going to get that. I guess we're going to get I Will Be King. I guess, I, I, I guess we're getting David Bowie. Um, this guy running around. Uh, I will admit the area looks really nice. This character, I'm gonna let you know right now, everybody, every woman's romancing this guy. Every woman. Here's another thing. This is what's probably gonna happen. Each and every one of these characters are gonna be romanceable and it's gonna be male and female. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that sort of thinking with each and every character to be to like either male or female, it doesn't really give them much of a personality or agency to them because now it's just like, oh, you could just pick one and then be with that person. And I'm just like, well, that doesn't, it doesn't give me any sense of like immersion. Like when I played cyberpunk, I got kind of peed off that, that I couldn't romance Judy as a male V. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Judy and me are pretty are pretty cool pals. We we we're 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 bro, you know. We're we're pretty much we're cool with each other. We're we're friends. But I was super glad that Pan Am was just into uh, guys. That was super cool. And the funny thing is, on Twitter, it would be like, "Oh man, I wish Pan Am was into girls." It's like, "Nah, you get Judy and we get Pan Am." And they were like, all right, that's fair. That's fair. That's deal. That's that's deal. That's deal. All right. All right. Should put it in there. That's how it was. Now I am 200% sure that each and every one of these characters are just going to be able to, you can just fuck any one of them. And, and I know exactly what's going to happen with this mage killer. Some, uh, some bitch is going to be like, I'm going to be a mage and I'm going to date the mage killer. And I'm like, okay. All right. Well, I, I think it could still work. I think it'll still work. <laughs> I, I think it will still be possible. But if Bioware is, has, is anything like I think they might be, they're going to have complete accessibility to almost everyone. But for me, who I'm just male and I'm straight, I don't see anybody that I'm particularly into. Um, I'm not really into this crazy, um, girl that wants to jump through veils. I mean, granted, I don't know their personalities. I mean, you can get a grasp at what their personality is for a second. Neve is probably the only one that I'll probably romance. I would, pr I'm probably, I'm not dating a dude. That's just motherfucker looks like my, my, my brother. So that's just not happening. I'm not dating the Griffin. I'm pretty sure some people online want to. Um, just nobody, nobody available. It's, it's, it, you want to know what the funny thing is? This is what's going to happen. And I know what's going to happen. You are going to see NPCs in this game that you can't romance. I, actually, I think there will be NPCs that you can romance besides your companions. I think it will happen. You just haven't seen them. Um, but you're going to see Liliana and probably Cassandra and they're going to look fine as fuck. And you're going to be like, why can't I just romance them again? Yeah. You, Liliana is definitely confirmed to be in the, in the next game. Definitely. Liliana is, yeah, you'll see her again. Um, but none of these characters really speak out to me besides Varric. I love seeing him being old and he has a belt buckle that has the inquisition symbol on it, which is really cool. Even 
even Harding, I'll be honest, Harding looks okay, but I mean, she has nice facial features, I, 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 I guess, of, you know, if you squint, but uh, it's not my, I'm looking at each character and I'm just like, no thanks. The, the character's gonna look at me and be like, so, we're almost at the end of this game. Are you gonna romance one of us? And I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, it's missing that dark fantasy, and it's really wholesome how this whole game is coming out. And I'm, I feel like they're kind of missing the premise on, on their fans. But that's not, the, that's not the big thing. They need to catch the casuals. So that's probably why they went with the whole um whole lighthearted sort of trailer that you see before you i think i think that's they uh, i guess they wanted to keep this game a little bit open for for everyone because if it was like a fan game i think it would sell better but this one it's probably gonna it's it's gonna sell it will but i don't think it's gonna be notable um we're gonna have to wait until gameplay to see what actually is going to happen there have been some leaks of some gameplay but you don't want to hold too much on to on that you don't want to hold too much weight onto that but uh, it was looking a little bit rough obviously because what i saw was probably not something i should have seen but i'm seeing these characters and i'm just like maybe neve neve is probably the closest one i mean she's the <laughs> she's the human and also why does this bitch have a triangle book bag? Why? Why does she have a triangle book bag? Everything's a triangle. I, I'm looking at everybody's clothes. Why is everything a triangle or a diamond? I mean, I guess that's the aesthetics now. It wasn't like that in... It, there was a certain aesthetic that kept on changing with, uh, with Dragon Age. And I'm noticing it even more now. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I would like the clothing in this one more than previous games, obviously because of graphic fidelity. Um, but triangle book bag. I kind of like the triangle book bag, but why the, tr <laughs> that's, that's my thing. I like the triangle book bag, but why? I'm like, uh, uh, although there is a little thing that was really noticed and I thought it was really cool was the fact that the the four gods right here, right there, that's gonna be interesting. It looks like obviously we're in another, uh, another we're back into the veil and uh, we're probably gonna fight dragons again. That's gonna be good. Um, so I will do, play this game. I will because I need to. There's going to be a gameplay trailer, and that thing is going to. Pro, that's going to be the most important thing, the gameplay trailer, because this thing is coming out this year. Okay, okay. The, l l let's be honest. Dragon Age cannot fuck this up. They cannot fuck this up. They, 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 they not only cannot fuck this up. Their game cannot be just. Eh. Their their game cannot be. It's good, good. Their game has to be like. Hey, we want more of that. It doesn't have to be great, great, perfect, 10, 10 out of 10. It has to reach a level of, hey, this is pretty good, and I wouldn't mind a little bit more. It has to reach more than average. And because they, they, they're run on like a tight leash right now. Because cause I'll, I'll, I guarantee you, listen, EA Games, EA, EA Games, EA Games don't fuck around. EA Games is just like Ubisoft or, or any other corporation out there uh, or, or like Xbox. Well, listen, they will they will throw you down. And that's the Veil Guard right there. I I honestly don't know why they called it the Veil Guard because you literally did that in the previous game and you closed down portals. You even entered into portals in the Inquisition. So I don't know why they called it the Veil Guard. Like you could have just stuck with Dreadwolf. That was fine. I think Solus is probably going to be the most interesting part of the game. I, I don't think Solus is is Solus is one of the antagonists. I think there's going to be two antagonists, and I hope so because um, it, it's it's just it's just better to have just more than one antagonist. Because here's also another thing: 
they need to have not only multiple antagonists, but the antagonists have to be very, very interesting. You cannot just be like hordes of enemies, hordes of enemies, hordes of enemies. You, you're... Dragon Age has... This is how it is. This is their main focal point. Their gameplay, always gameplay is going to be first. Second, story. We're talking about their novels. Some of you have collected their books. Some of you know a lot about the lore and what's going on in um, when it comes to mages and how they keep a close, close watch on mages and um, on abominations and that sort of like. Uh, even when it comes to the Chantry, these sort of things. Uh, when it comes to the church, these sort of things are going to be very, very important. The third, it's going to have to be the companions. Yes, the companions are very important. A lot of you motherfuckers are just like me. We're all perverts here. Let's, let's just be honest. You guys see one dude and you're like, hubba hubba. Yeah, yeah. This guy is hot. Yummy, yummy, yum. And then you look at me say, hey, this girl's hot. And then you guys look at me like, uh, you guys, you guys and your toxic masculinity and you perverts. And I'm just like, wait, I can't have my cake was <laughs> rules for thee, but not for, not for me. Is that what's happening? But, uh, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't have, I, 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 it's, it's not bad. It's just, I don't, I feel like they missed the premise on how Dragon Age's art design was. And this looks fine, and I'll take it, but I'm really worried, and a lot of us are worried. Not, even, not just me, the per person that's kind of negative about it, but also the people that are positive about, about it are also nervous. I don't wanna hear this shit where you guys are like, oh yeah, we're eating good today, and then after you have that 30 minute little woohoo raha, later on you're gonna be like, I really hope this game's good. No, no, you're gonna have to grasp reality. You gotta make sure this game gameplay is top notch. It's really damn important. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to romance Neve. I guess. I mean, we're we're gonna have to find some magic leg somewhere. We, we I think I left one in my. I think I got one around here. I'll I'll find one. But um, all in all, it it's just it's just so weird how the trailer just ended and i was just like okay and i don't want to feel okay with a dragon age trailer because i love dragon age i should feel like yes i i said that in the beginning of the trailer and at the end i was just like okay and that's that's kind of worrying because i hate it when i'm right i really it just prove me the fuck wrong please the up and down prove me wrong Anyway, guys, that's my take on the whole trailer. I really do hope that they uh, uh, grasp uh, the the dark side. Uh, well, it's not even the dark side. Just all of Dragon Age is pretty dark. Bro, they're out here killing children mages just because they blew up a store. That's, that's how dark Dragon Age is. This kid just blew up a store with a fireball and he accidentally did that. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah, we're going to have to take him. Yep, yep, get him out of here. Yep, don't care. That's how Dark Dragon Age is. I feel like, because any of those mages can literally just open the void. They, I guess, I hope they haven't forgotten about that. Bring that dark fantasy back, please.